This video will present a simple walkthrough showing the typical steps required to calculate fatigue life using Endurica CL. The walkthrough will use a model of a constant velocity boot to present the workflow. The required files include a text file including Endurica output requests and material definitions, the Abacus output database file of the constant velocity boot, and the Endurica CL application and license file. Here you can see the contents of the text file called cvbootheader.hfi. This includes the header section with description of the job, the output section requesting life as an output, and the material section defining the rubber material used in the walkthrough. Here is the finite element model of the CV boot. Animating the load history shows the first step which rotates the joint housing by 30 degrees. This represents a 30 degree turn of a vehicle wheel. The second step holds the turn at 30 degrees while rotating the boot one full revolution. The strain data from this second step will be exported to a text file to be used in the Endurica fatigue analysis. The model consists of 3D elements through the thickness of the boot but also has 2D membrane elements as a skin on the surface of the boot. These membrane elements help accurately capture strain on the surface where cracks will most likely form. With the solid 3D elements removed, the nominal engineering strain on the surface can be viewed on the contour plot. This set, called Skin Set Analyze, is a small strip of membrane elements. Due to the boot being axisymmetric, this small set will be used as a representative of the entire boot. The Endurica Export History plugin is now used to export this strain data. The modeling space is selected as Plain Stress Surface. The desired element set is selected and the desired step is selected. The data is now ready to be exported. The progress of the export job can be seen in the lower right hand corner of the screen. This new text file was created. It contains the history section and the field section. The field section contains one block of time for each frame in the step that was exported. The first column holds the element number, and the last three columns hold the three strain components. This text file needs to be combined with the initial text file called cvbootheader.hfi. This can be done using the Windows command prompt as shown. The created HFI file called cvboot.hfi can now be ran using the Endurica application. When the analysis finishes, there now exists two new files, an HFM file containing information on the job and an HFO file containing the results. The results are the life of each element given a number of repeated duty cycles until failure. Using the Endurica Import Life plugin, these lives can be written back into the ODB file and viewed as a contour plot. The lives will be stored on every frame of the ODB file so the animation can be played while viewing the lives. Once again, the solid elements are removed from the display so the membrane elements can be clearly viewed. This shows the strip of elements analyzed on the display. The color spectrum is better utilized when a log scale is used. It also helps to reverse the rainbow spectrum so that red corresponds to shorter life and blue corresponds to longer life. The animation can now be viewed to see how the loads on the elements affect the element life. This concludes the Endurica CL walkthrough.